My name is Chris Fisher. I'm the founder and expedition leader of OSEARCH. So the plan was to come out of Jacksonville and kind of ride the Gulf Stream up to the Carolinas in a drift. But the weather just did not allow that. Do we have a bait in the water? No, that's what we the challenges of Expedition Southeast is that it's in the Atlantic in the winter. The weather is always difficult, the weather windows are small. You know, you make these plans, you have this schedule, and then the first day you go out on the water, the whole thing changes. Shoal and knock down some yeah, of yeah. the windswell, because all the ground swell is coming yeah, yeah. this way. But on this expedition, we've had one day where we could fish where we want to be. I think it's important to understand why we keep coming back to the Carolinas. The southeast region of the United States is overwintering area for white sharks and their movements and activities are really largely unknown. We have some preliminary evidence that would suggest that they're reproductively active. Getting access to adult animals that are mature has been really challenging in this population. The data that we have that suggest where and when they're mating comes from two sharks. One adult male, one adult female, both in March, both off of South Carolina. What we've seen so far is hints they are reproductively active, but not at a peak of reproductive activity. There we go, nice, nice. Did they already yes. mate? Or was that shark caught as it was preparing to mate and it was coming in to becoming more ripe for mating? So we keep coming back here, trying to find these mature animals on either side of March in order to answer that question. Hilton will help us make sense of all the female tracks and really help the science team prove where and when mating occurs. Those are still big questions that we have to answer. There's still a lot to learn about this area, which is what makes it so fascinating. You know, we did this expedition last year and we had much better weather, beautiful weather windows. This year, not so much. So really weather as usual has been the challenge for this expedition and um, will again be a challenge for our next expedition in the spring. That's why we keep coming to the Carolinas. That's why we keep coming here, allowing the weather to just kick us in the face three and a half weeks at a time, twice a year. And no, we might only have four days to be where we want to be to try to find the type of shark we need to answer the scientist's question. And of course, it's the most difficult question because it's the last one to remain unanswered. And if it was going to be easy, it would already be done.